Fart Knocker, thank you for the uh, continued support. Nice to have you here, man. Um, we are going to do um, space the launch. I'm hoping I'm not too late now. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do it again. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, switch. Fartknocker, welcome back, and thank you for the continued support. 31 months. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Resub. Now, let's see. I told you before that I was actually... Stage one and stage two engine trail has started. Ooh. So, are, am I to believe that they have cleared the weather now? Like, they have... Stage one engine chill has started. That's gone up to the crew so that they've got situational awareness. As I mentioned, the pre valves are open. And now we are topping off for stage fuel, getting ready to finish the fuel load. Liquid oxygen load on first and second engine stage will continue until the last three to two minutes of the countdown. This is interesting. This is uh, you the. You hear that call out RP1 load complete coming up in about six minutes. Again, RP1 is just that densified kerosene that rocket fuel that Falcon 9 is going to be used to power Bob and Doug to orbit today. All right. You can bet that they are nervous now. They really want to get out there. This is the uh, Demo 2 mission yeah, of the space SpaceX uh, uh, venture where they fire American astronauts from American soil for the first time in right nine time. years. That call out indicates that the fuel loading on the first stage uh, is complete. Draining back the lines now. So first stage and second stage fuel are complete. Liquid oxygen loading is continuing on both stages. All right. You can see on the view on the left side of the monitor, the condensation, uh, the cold gas wrapped around the stages as the tank skins are chilled by the densified liquid oxygen picking up the humidity Falcon from the Florida the air. Yeah, I actually uh, streamed an hour ago so because I I, I was wrong with about the time. I was an hour early. Are they using Windows? Are they using Windows 95? <laughs> Bing! Dragon has transitioned to configure for terminal count. Vehicle tanks pressing or strong back retract. Oh, okay. I don't think Fart Knocker was in the chat, but okay, never mind. Hey, Zainara, welcome. Nine tanks. We're going to open the clamp arm around the second stage. All right. And begin to retract the strong back. This is history in the making, folks. We'll move back about two degrees. That'll get us to the liftoff position. At liftoff, the strong back will then recline about 45 degrees away. Started. This is also the first time that a commercial rocket, like SpaceX uh, two, space vehicle, uh, is propelling astronauts into Launch space. Called out the strong back retract has started on the left. You'll see it go back just a couple of Yeah, minutes. long time no see. Stage 1 RPM bleed. <laughs> Look, he's so nervous. Did you see he did this? <laughs> he did this like the the one on further away. Look, he's he's uh Look. <laughs> Come on, guys. You can do it. We are just 4 minutes away from lift off. Again, at this moment, Bob and Doug are really just laser focused on those displays. Are you seeing this, Cy? They have insight directly into Dragon and the Falcon 9. They're able to see where their fuel loading is at, how everything's progressing down with the count. AFTS final setup started. Nice beard. Haven't you seen my beard before? <laughs> Longest three minutes in history. Three and a half minutes from launch. Yeah, we don't need a narrator to tell us that. Climbing away from the Falcon 9. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. I love how science fiction-y their spacesuits look. Like, they're not, you know, the, the typical EVA suits. They're, they're actually more like what we see in movies these days. Oh, they've actually uncoupled... Oh! I'll go bleed. The bridge is uh, uh, decoupled, right? Dragon has transitioned to terminal count and is on internal power. I think so. It's like Stage one, decoupled, one disconnected. Okay, we're T minus two minutes, 42 seconds. 
Stage one locks load is closed out. Stage Grand two Wireless. will continue to load for about another half a minute or so. Once we get the completion of stage two locks loading, we have to vent down the line so you'll see another large white cloud coming off of the strong back. That'll be normal. That'll happen Vehicle around transitioning to T minus power. one minute and forty seconds. Why all the smoke around the spaceship? Uh, they're they're basically uh, saying it right now. If you listen, they're venting a lot of. Nine um, years since we've been in this position, a lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. All our eyes focused on two now. Oh, and it started to rain. No, <laughs> that's something else. I think it's. I don't know. Stage two lock load is closed out. Propellant fills are complete. All right, come on. They are so nervous. Stage two locks load complete. But this is what all they've been working for. On Falcon 9. One minute, 34 seconds to go till launch. I don't think so. The weather looks nice. There's not a cloud in the sky. Well, I mean, it's a little bit fuzzy there, but still, like, it's mainly a blue sky. It doesn't look like the weather is going to stop them this time. I don't think so, at least. All right, one minute to go, guys. One minute to go. I'm so used to looking there. <laughs> one minute to go. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed for launch. Yeah, did you hear the applause? Minute now, the FTS, the flight termination system, has been armed. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Go for launch. Go for launch. SpaceX Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. Oh Five my god. 30 seconds. Oh, they are so. Oh my god, look at this. We're going, we're going. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. <sighs> T minus 15 seconds. Okay. Look at this now. 10, 9, 8. You can see seven, it's starting to shake. Six, five, Look. Four, Here we go. 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. America has launched. So rises the new era of American space flight, and with it the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. There they go. And what's cool about this rocket... The cool thing about the Falcon 9 rocket is that it can be reused, just like the space shuttle. It can go down, back down, and l make a controlled landing and be reused. That's the future of space, space, uh, uh, space travel, at least for now. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're one through bravo. max Q. Copy one bravo. And we heard that one bravo call out. Okay, That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this. Thank you. Until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 G's, 2.3 times Dragon. the Earth's gravity. Already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. Dragon is the capsule, basically, where the astronauts are sitting. Falcon 9 is the rocket itself, which is not going to be uh, attached to me uh, to uh, I ISS. ISS. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stage separation. Astronauts into orbit. I want to see the stage separation. Coming up in about 20 seconds. 
All right. M one D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. All right. They're going to release the Falcon 9 rocket now, I think. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. There we go. Copy two Alpha. That's the release of the rocket. So now the crew is in the Dragon module. Right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now oh. carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. Oh, the Falcon. Okay. Continue the power of this second stage. stage two propulsion is nominal. It's two stages. Okay. We'll cut off at Seco or second engine cut off at about eight minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over five minutes to go still on this second stage you heard the call out to alpha so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about north carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to canada things <laughs> looking good though getting good call outs nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage bob and doug continuing to make their way into orbit bob and doug the ones who made the space journey after nine Dragon years SpaceX nominal trajectory Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon nominal trajectory. Nominal trajectory. All right. So they're going to detach the second. Trajectories. The Dragon pointed in the right direction, continuing to make their flight uphill. Heard acquisition of signal Bermuda. That's one of the other ground stations that they're using to get telemetry and data back from this spacecraft. Stage two propulsion is still nominal. All right. Good. I think. <laughs> So they still have like the second stage of the of the Falcon 9 rocket attached to them, and as as, I, as far as I understand it, they're going to detach that as well. Then they're like in the uh, Dragon module, and that's going to keep going to the space station. A little over four minutes, forty seconds into the flight, Bob and Doug flying at more than fifty six hundred miles Dragon per SpaceX hour. Dragon SpaceX nominal trajectory. Already almost two hundred miles downrange from the. Kennedy Space Center. Nominal trajectory continuing. And it's only been five minutes since it took off from 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 the surface, from the ground. And they're already like way out there in space now. And while they continue uphill, looks like we are getting a view of the first stage as well. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first oh. stage with the grid fins deployed. It's oh! It's its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. And we're just about a minute... Cool! Uh, ...a couple minutes away from the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines do ignite to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then after the entry burn will be the landing burn, which is just a single engine Dragon, burn. SpaceX nominal trajectory. That's cool. You heard nominal starting trajectory. chill for entry burn. Is that call out? They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon. Still on second stage, and that's that M back engine on second stage on your left screen. Are they going to detach it now? I want to see that as well. Again, on your right screen, is that first stage booster coming back towards our drone ship? Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. So there's a drone ship that's going to pick up the wow, first stage of the stage rocket. Continuing to power Dragon okay. into orbit. Again, if you're keeping an eye on that timer, that's going to continue to burn until 8 minutes and 44 seconds into flight. That so is cool. So a little cool. over 2 minutes from now, we'll hear the call out Seco. It'll then be a little stage under... Stage 2 propulsion a little is still good. A little over three minutes until Dragon physically separates from the second stage of the Falcon 9 after the upper Dragon stage gets a chance. Nominal trajectory. What does it say? How long until they separate? Dragon copies, nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage. Starting that entry burn on your right screen, we should be able to see that. Oh yeah, side. it's going fast for the first stage now. Look at that. 
it's really starting to drop. Look, look at the fire. Look at the fire on the, oh my God. That is the rocket hitting the atmosphere. That is so cool. Imagine the heat of hitting the atmosphere and just falling the friction through, you know, like, oh, Jesus. Well, that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Talking be the shutdown. second engine cut off. Stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. Really? It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back there, all of them. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco, or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest oh. G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy, Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be in the abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second Stage one line cutoff confirmation. Oh, so they have abort stages in space as well? Stage one line Look, everybody's having like their masks on. Second engine cut off. Now we are waiting for our first stage to Ooh. make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. And I love the fact that you can see everything, the progression down in the over here, basically. What like, you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Of course, I still love you. Loss of signal. Like lost that live view, but. We'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Oh, uh, I wanted Falcon to see. Oh, look at that! You can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. Wow! This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And it's re-landed. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. Have one need to recovery one. So exciting today. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It does not stop. All right, we did we did hear again that call out good orbital insertion, so that means Falcon 9 and Dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be. Can we need a FRC on recovery one? And it's right at about 12. Look at that, look at that. And Dragon will separate. <laughs> oh, what was Looks that? like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug <laughs> owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make, they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good con condition before we separate. All right. I'm the upper stage does small attitude maneuver using some cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. I'm guessing the deploy sex, uh, point there is when okay, they separate so from the second stage. About a minute from now, but yeah, yeah. They do wait until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. Such cool views. I this is history in the making, guys. We are seeing right now. History in the making. Doug on the right screen, inside of Crew Dragon, out in space. Yeah, already 200 kilometers over planet Earth, <sighs> a little over 124 miles, traveling in excess of 2,700 meters, 27,000 meters per second, or about 16,000 miles per hour. Coming up on the, the deploy point. Again, we're just standing by. That separation event should be coming up shortly. Then they'll begin a series of checks on the Draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power Dragon on its flight to the. They have gummy stuff, Laron. Standing by <laughs> for separation. Expected loss of signal, Wallops. Come on, it come on. Like we had an expected LOS loss of signal with Aww, the ground stations. Really? I wanted Waiting to see. For hey, look, look at that. confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you. 
Combat Dragon one is separating. Separation and there's that call out. Yeah. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. Awesome. Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. All right. Standing by. Yep, they are. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and <laughs> wish you a great mission. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9 and it was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Right on. Oh, and like it. Proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit from the Florida coast. True, true. Got the Good luck. Godspeed. All right. Well, that's awesome. Perfect. You know what? I'm going to stop it right there because I don't think we need to see any bit anything else. Um, because they're basically... This was the launch. And, uh, I mean, now they're on their way to the ISS, uh, the International Space Station. So, uh, I guess we'll only have to, uh, only wait and see what uh, how the mission goes and whatnot. But this was the crucial part. This was like the historic part. When America finally lift, uh, made liftoff again from its own soil. Like, you know, because for nine years, ever since the space shuttle uh, was retired, they've, been, they've actually had to go into space from uh, Kazakhstan. They've, like, sort of rented time in the Soyuz capsules. So now, finally, America can once again join the space race and, you know, get their astronauts out there. Also, it's the first time a corporate uh, space vehicle has, has successfully launched astronauts, human beings, into space. This was the first time. And from this point on, this is where, like, you know, corporations take over and start to making, you know, headway into space. Hopefully. Um, yeah, so that was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for today, I think. Um, hope you uh, have a great weekend. And tomorrow, we will hopefully finally beat Super Mario Sunshine. Because next week, that's coming up, it's going to be Super Nintendo Summer. It's the start of the third issue of Super Nintendo Summer. How exciting. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Take care, guys. This is Eaglebyte83, wishing you the best. Keep the retro legacy alive, and stay safe. Good night, and goodbye.